Hello and welcome to another edition of Virtual Trail Guides. This week we'll be taking a look at the Roth Trail System. Roth Trail is located in the Pittock Conservation Area, which is owned and operated by the Upper Thames River Conservation Authority. This trail is approximately 12 kilometers long, but can be made shorter depending on the loops and turns you choose to take. You will be able to view the Pittock Reservoir during many parts of this trail. There are many trail entrances, including Pittock Park Road on the north side of the park, Tecumseh Street, Rivercrest Drive, Island Drive, Donald A. Thompson Park on Springbank Avenue, and along Oxford Road 4, just to name a few. Along the north shore of the reservoir, the trail can be accessed in the day-use area off Pittock Road. This area provides parking, washrooms, picnic areas, disc golf, and a splash pad. At this point, you have the option to travel west where the trail crosses the Pittock Dam. Special events are sometimes held in this area, so please be courteous to these user groups. Along the south shore of the reservoir from the west, the pitted path starts next to the Thames River at the Tecumseh Street parking lot, across the river from the Millennium Trail System. The trail goes under the CPR Railway Bridge and Highway 59 to the parking lot at the end of Rivercrest Drive, next to the Pittock Dam. From there, the pitted path goes to the entrance of Roth Park. You can also follow the trail north over the Pittock Dam and into the North Shore Free Access Day Use Area. The main trail in Roth Park is paved with secondary trails that are hard packed dirt. The side trails, which are marked white, travel through pine and spruce plantations and have some gentle slopes. The side trails link back to the main paved trail, which ends at the Lansdowne Avenue Parkette. At the Parkette, there's a viewing platform with washrooms and parking access. A single track packed dirt trail continues east from this point to Oxford Road 4. This section of the trail is less traveled but has great views of the east end of the lake. Just so you're aware, you will have to double back at this point. Tune in next time for the Lions Trail Guide.